Hello, in my uh, last video I showed you how to assign resources to a task uh, with uh, defining units which will be used for resource per task. So here, once again, resources, resource tab, John's task. I am going to assign John with 50%. Okay, here I am going to assign Mary, you can see I jumped directly to Mary. I didn't have to close these assigned resources and I am now to Mary's task, which is going to be 25%. I will say assign, okay. Now I'm going to developers tasks. I'm going to use them with 500% assign. And finally, I'm going to choose developers with 500% John with. 50% and Mary with 25%. I'm going to assign them and close and everything is fine here. And I asked you in my last video, what, what is the purpose of assigning resources? Okay, we know that John Mary, John is going to work 50% for, uh, on his task, Mary 25% on her task, developers on their task 500%, and on shared task, John will going to work 50%, Mary 25%, and developers 500%. Now, I will add a column here, which is available, and I'm going to start typing work. And I will add work. Okay, now I have a value here. Let me show you. If I create no one's task here, with five days, you will see that default work per task which has no resources is zero hours. So for today, I'm going to just explain what is work and what is the difference between work and duration and now, uh, not go, and I'm not going to deep dive in how the work is calculated. I'm going to cover that in my next video. But for today, I want to show you what is the difference between duration and work. To explain that, let me, let me give you a very simple example. If you are going to work each and every week, you are going to spend five days at your work, from Monday to Friday. Does it mean that you are going to be 24 hours each day on your work? No, not at all. So, duration is how long are you stay at work? How long? And it means five days. On the other hand, work is how much hours, how much effort are you going to spend during this period? So during five days, let, let me create a resource which is going to be called Nenat. My work is available 100%. My calendar, okay, here is I'm going to project, I'm going to change working time, work weeks, and I see default and I will say, okay, from Monday to Friday, from 8 to 12 and from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., which means it is, let me show you here, it is eight hours, from 8 to noon is four hours, and from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. is another four hours, eight hours. So, if I have here Nenad, which is available to work 100%, and if I create a task here in Gun Charge, Nenad's work, and if I say that I'm going to work each and every day on this week with 100%, which is eight hours, 
and that is going to be shown here, NANAT 100% or just NANAT here. I could choose NANAT here because uh, I explained in my previous two, uh, two previous videos that if I just choose a person, it will be assigned with maximum available if its maximum availability is 100% or less. And you will see that I'm going to spend 40 hours at, uh, at my work during five days. So it means that I'm going to work eight hours per day. For that particular task and for all those tasks, I'm going to show you one very useful view, which is called, which is, uh, which can be found here, view task usage. So, I'm here with Nenad Work. You can't see anything here. I will right click on Nenad's work, and I will go. I will choose Scroll to Task, and you will see that I'm going to work from 23rd of May, each and every day, eight hours. So, the difference between duration and work is, to conclude the story, duration, answer the question, how long will task last? And it determines the start and finish date according to calendars, etc., etc., which we, uh, is going to be explained also in my next video. We will have a lot of videos because this is a heart of how Microsoft Project works. On the other hand, work is how much effort is a resource going to spend during those duration each and every day. And in total, you can see that I'm going to work eight hours per day each and every day. So in total, I'm going to work 40 hours, eight hours at, uh, at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And this is also in total 40 hours. On the other hand, I can see that I assign John with 50% which means that John is going to work 50% per day, which is four hours per day. So even though his task is five days long, as mine is, he's supposed to work only half a time. Why? Because I told to Microsoft Project here, with assigning the source, I need John for 50%. And his calendar is same like mine is, so he, his 100% is 8 hours, so it means that 50% is 4 hours per day. And in task usage, I can see that he is going to be on his tasks 5 days, but only 4 hours per day. Same is with Mary, but Mary is assigned 25%, and 25% of eight hours is two hours per day. So Mary is going to work on her task five days, two hours per day. On the other hand, I assigned 500% uh, uh, units for developers. I will, I will, on the task which will last also five days, I assigned five developers, 500%. Since one developer, is supposed to work 100% is eight hours per day. Per day, 500% means uh, five times more. So five uh, five multiple by eight hours per day is 40 hours per day. In task usage, it means that developer are going developers are going to work. 40 hours per day. So in total, in five days, they will spend 200 hours. On the share task, I assign John with 50%, Mary with 25%, developers with 200%, and it means that John is going to work four hours per day and is uh, uh, the same thing at, as it, his own task. Mary is going to work 
two hours per day and developers are going to work 40 hours per day, which because they are assigned with 500%. And the total hour spent per task for uh, per day is, per, that particular task, shared task is 46 hours, four hours John, two hours Mary, 40 hours developers. And the total number of hours effort spent on that shared task is 230 hours, which, which is uh, exact five times multiplied by 46 hours. And this is the simple, the simplest explanation. But we can and we will have more complicated situation as we go further with our videos. Until then, remember, duration is how long, okay, the task will last, and effort is how much. So how much work should someone spend during those days? And last but not least, until you don't have resource assigned to a task, what, five days, six days, who cares? Work is zero because work is calculated. How is it calculated? That will be explained also in some of my next videos. Until then, have a nice day.